Hi everyone, it's Jamie Geller and I'm super excited because today I'm showing you how to make Shabbat in an hour. Fit for a king or the Shabbos queen. And I want to make sure you're following me everywhere. That means on Facebook and on Instagram. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and turn on those post notifications so that you don't miss a beat. We're going to get started with our Moroccan fish. You can use salmon or white fish. The secret here, it's the spice mix and the matbukha. Moving right along to the main dish, we're doing a Hawaii spiced chicken. We will have a recipe for the savory Hawaii blend, or you can find it in a Middle Eastern spice shop or in a specialty kosher supermarket. And pulling those Yemenite flavors all the way to the end, I've got a coffee Hawaii spiced fruit crisp. Shall we get started? We're starting with the extra virgin olive oil, the onions, carrots, and then the rice, one spoon of the Hawaii, salt, add some broth, and give everything a really good mix. Boneless, skinless chicken breast cooks much quicker. You can use thighs as well, a little more Hawaii, cover and in the oven for 40 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Get on over to dessert. The shortcut here is the frozen fruit, bloobs in, peaches. It's a lot, but it does cook down, so don't worry. You just want the juice of half a lemon. Oh, so fragrant, and it's gonna add that little bit of acidity and cut the sweetness. A spoonful of our flour. This is gonna help with all the liquid that the frozen fruit will emit. Brown sugar, or just enhance the sweetness of the frozen fruit. We made it overflow because it's going to cook down and we want to make sure that it's a really plentiful, not shallow, fruit crisp. To our one cup of old-fashioned oats, we are adding the remainder of our flour and our brown sugar and our one-third cup of extra virgin olive oil. This is going to help the crumble come together and blend all these flavors beautifully. So using a fork, just combine all the ingredients until like a coarse crumble forms. Everyone knows the crumble on the top is the best part of the crisp. So don't be shy. Get every last bit. Okay, now our chicken's in the oven, our fruit crisp is in the oven, we're working backwards. This has the shortest cooking time, our Moroccan salmon. We're starting with the pan. Now you don't have to do this, but an amazing time saver is to line the pan with a piece of parchment that will keep the skin from sticking to the bottom of the pan and make for incredible cleanup. Two tablespoons of great quality extra virgin olive oil. It adds so much flavor to our recipes today. Chickpeas. A great, great time saver. You can buy already peeled cloves of garlic. That's a great way to save time and keep this entire menu under one hour. You can buy this already prepared or you can make your own homemade matbucha. I will link below to our sheet pan roasted matbucha. Tomato sauce. This is my super secret spice mix. This is what makes this dish sing. This is the flavorful bed for our salmon. Here is our delicious salmon fillets. We're just going to place these into the pan. All right, this is my favorite part when we get to taste. I'm just gonna taste some things for you just so you guys get a sense of these dishes. Mm. That is the best Moroccan fish. And what's amazing is my special secret spice mix, which is really not secret anymore, has a little bit of sugar in it. So it has like a smoky sweet taste that offsets that spiciness from the madbuka, but it's not too hot. It just got a little bit of a kick, and it's kind of offset by the sweetness from the spice mix. It's like really the perfect Moroccan dish, if I do say so myself. Let's taste wise spiced chicken. Oh my god, so good. Coffee Hawaii Spice Fruit Crisp. Oh. Please do not leave out that Hawaii Coffee Spice Mix. This is the most complex, interesting, 
earthy, smoky, spicy, and sweet fruit crisp you have ever had. If I could put another adjective into that sentence, I would. I cannot even explain to you how those spices enhance the flavor of the fruit. It's warm and toasty and just like gives you an incredible hug. I would double that recipe so you can eat one and then serve one to your crowd. Now is when you do your homework. Please comment below and let me know what you've tried, what you're going to try, what you're excited for. If I've just blown your mind with these recipes or if you're like, please Jamie, I'm so into this food, give me more. I'm gonna link to a few more recipes below to help you round out this meal. I've got an over the top hummus bar, so that's a homemade hummus that you can serve alongside this Moroccan fish. I've got a sesame broccoli, which would be delicious with this meal, as well as a fresh and bright Israeli salad. So, recipes below. This is when you have your homework. I wanna hear from you. I love cooking with you. I love hearing from you. Let me know in the comments below. Good Shabbos and Shabbat Shalom, which is really the same thing, but however you roll.